Remove the battery pack and secure the battery compartment cover in the open position. Use a H5 bit to remove the two screws securing the seat assembly. Pull the seat assembly back and remove it. Use a knife to peel off the front left guard sticker. Use a PH2 bit to remove the seven screws securing the upper left guard. Tilt the guard lower section out and up to remove. Repeat procedure to remove the upper right guard on the opposite side. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the six screws securing the bottom cover. Use a PH2 bit to remove the four screws securing the front air deflector. Starting on the right side, use a PH2 bit and M10 socket to remove the 10 screws securing the left inner cover. Use a 10 mm wrench and PH2 bit to remove the 7 screws securing the front left and right guard. Use a side cutter and flathead screwdriver to remove the three cable ties securing the LCD wire. Release the two wire buckles to remove the LCD wire. Unplug the LCD connector. Use a H5 bit to remove the four screws securing the headlight assembly. Use a H5 bit to remove the two screws securing the LCD screen. Tighten the two screws to secure the new LCD screen. Place the LCD wire through the frame and connect it with the plug. Tighten the three cable ties and two wire buckles to secure the LCD wire. Secure the headlight assembly. Tighten the seven screws to secure the front left and right guard. Ensure the four clamp plates are properly mounted on the left inner cover. Tighten the ten screws to secure the left inner cover. Tighten the four screws to secure the front air deflector. Tighten the six screws to secure the bottom cover. Tighten the seven screws to secure the upper left guard and follow the same steps to secure the upper right guard. Tighten the two screws to secure the seat assembly. Close the battery compartment cover.